It's Debbie. You're at your home, your happy place. Welcome. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much, all my new subscribers. You know, when my numbers went up to 3,400, I realized, oh, I told you guys I was trying to get to 4,000 by the end of the month. Well, you all are pushing me. I mean, there's no way I'm going to do that because in my mind, I was just trying to get to 3,400, but you know, in the course of last week, you guys gave me 30 plus subscribers and I just want to tell you, thank you so much. I so appreciate it. You have no idea. Um, okay. So today I'm going to do something. Let's just say it's something I love, admire in other people and wish I was a professional at. And I even, um, almost signed up for, uh, school in it. Um, after I had finished my interior decorating school because I love, I absolutely love flower arrangements. And today's, though I, I like it, it's not gonna be gorgeous because I didn't have a lot of uh, places to pick from. I literally went, I, well, I went at Hobby Lobby and it wasn't while they were on sale. So it was time sensitive, so I couldn't wait. So I went to uh, Michael's who had a lot of lovely things all on sale. I believe they were, I don't know if they were 30 or 40% off, but you know, and they had a lot of lovely options. So this is all Michael's except um, a couple of pieces I've had for like five years that I have no idea where I bought. If I have the opportunity, um, I may look online and see about some picks for spring. Um, I'm thinking about maybe some butterflies that I would like to add to it. Um, I don't know. I mean, if I could find something like that or a bird or something. So are they Easter? Not really, but they're going to be a part of my, you know, my doorway for Easter and for spring right on up to summer. And then I don't really know if I have to change it. I just may because I get tired of things after a few months. But um, I want to talk about my basket first. In the past, I have been hanging three things. You can see my double doors in the background. Um, so they're uh, three panels and I've been doing three wreaths, three hearts, three bows. Um, and so I wanted to do something different. And when we were unpacking, I found this and it was like, I love this basket. It is gorgeous. It's, um, shellac. And although I would not put it out in an, on an uncovered porch, our porch is deep and covered, so it'll be safe there. It has leather on it and it's got a very wide mouth and it's really deep. So that's kind of a problem because it means you're going to spend a little bit of money putting stuff in it. And I did, um, but far less than I would have had, had I bought it already made. And sure, you can get a lot less expensive basket. You guys know this. I am not trying to tell you, you need to spend the kind of money on this, but I'm going to tell you something that I thought was pretty cool. Since I already had it, um, I knew that if I bought something similar, I might not like it. And I'd have to buy two of them. And by the time I did it, maybe I would have spent as much as I spent on buying just one to match it. So this is from BallardDesigns.com. And it runs $99. Now, I don't know if it ever goes on sale. But when I bought it, they gave me a link. And the link said, refer somebody and if they spend, and I don't know, it was probably $100, but maybe it was more. I have no idea. I, I don't remember because it's been a month ago. Uh, but if they spend a certain amount of money, they get 50, a $50 coupon. And then for my referring, I get a $50 coupon. And I was like, oh my goodness, what a deal. Not just for me, but that's an amazing deal. I mean, if two of you guys bought something there that fit that parameter it doesn't have to be this um and you got fifty dollars off i got a hundred dollars i mean it's 
Okay, so it's a win-win. And if you like Ballard Designs, I do. I love them. Um, I don't buy often from there because they are expensive. And sometimes some of those things I can find, you know, something that meets the same uh, criteria decorating wise that costs less. But I've never seen anything this pretty. I just really love it. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to have to shut you down for a minute while I stuff it with paper. I don't have any floral foam. If I do, it's packed. And actually, before I do that, I'll show you what I'm going to use today. Um, I have already, if you've seen my video of my little table there, you saw the bunnies um, on the runner. And I'm really going with this very neutral. You'll also see this neutral showing up in my family room as well. Um, yes, I'm putting in color, but I'm also adding this, I don't know, white and burlap -y feel. So I am going to tie this ribbon around here. At least I'm going to try. So I'm actually going to hide some of the leather, but it doesn't matter. And will I add something else to make it look Eastery and then take that off? I might. I have some thinner bunny ribbon that I might do, but I'm just, you know, I'm just winging it right now. So when I was at Michael's, uh, you know, do we all love these? And look how they're packaged. So you could totally just buy these and pop them in a, a vignette or in a vase. But, you know, either way, I mean, again, it's like the ones I used. It's not the same ones I used before, but it's like you could smell them. Um, so these are Ashland, $16.99. So they were about nine bucks or maybe they were 10 each. So yeah, this is not going to be inexpensive because I have two of these. And so I bought two of everything. Um, and it was hard for me deciding, you know, what colors I really wanted out there. Um, and then these, this is a lovely little mix. Um, there's little thistle, a piece of lavender, some things that look like pansies. And I don't know what all, but I think it's a really pretty little Oh, there's even an iris in there. Wow, I love that. So this one was the exact same price. So $9 or $10 for those two. Then I needed some volume. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, there they are, okay. Uh, I needed some volume and I wanted some more co a different color, something to lighten up this. So I went with these, I would assume these are a, Cone hydrangea, that's what it kind of looks like to me. I don't know that they tell you what they are. They just, oh yeah, cone hydrangea. Look at me, I'm a little gardener. <laughs> um, same price. Oh, you know what? I'm giving you the Canadian price. So these are much cheaper, $12.99. So they're probably $7. Everything I've told you so far is actually $7 each, which that's really a good price for this. There are a lot. That's one stem, $7. Okay, and then let me slide this over to me. These guys, um, I wanted something grassy and airy as filler too. Um, I'm not going to guess what these are because I don't know. Oh, tall grass. But they, I've had these in real life. I love this. It, it also looks like a little lavender, but it's not. And these are only $6 each, $5.99, $6, something like that. Okay, that's great. Then I have a couple of old things. I have no idea. There's no price tag on them. I don't know where I got them. Um, I happen to only have uh, three of these instead of four. So um, I'm going to only use one per basket and then the issue is the same with this which is not also it's old I don't know where I got it from but I'm gonna unclip it. it oh you know what I have three of these oh that's interesting I don't know it might be too much so these are weepers and actually because I only had one basket in the past I had four of these just weeping out of the basket but it was just too much. So anyway, 
Let me show you what it's going to look like. And this one's really fragile because I don't have it. I actually just have plastic bags in it. So I think paper will be a little bit more substantial, but we'll see. And then, of course, I haven't even tried the bow. So let's get started and, you know, let's see what we think. Let me put the paper in first because that's too noisy and I don't, well, I have to put the paper in first, but I don't want to do it on camera. Okay, I've got stuff in here. I decided I'm going to try the ribbon first. So I'm going to just wrap it around and this is so tough because you don't know. It's a guessing game for me. Okay, I think that's what I'll do. And since I'm making the cut, since I'm making the cut, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other one at the same length or another one, because even if I've made a mistake, at least they're the same length and if I end up doing something with them they'll be the same. This looks like way more than enough which is great. I'd rather have more than enough than not enough. The ribbon also is from Michaels and it was also on sale. Um, this one says it was, doesn't say, the small ones have a price on them. I think they were $5.99, but I'm not sure if that was the sale price or, see already it feels too, too short. I may have to just tie a knot here and then make a bow because, or do I even want a bow? Maybe I don't. Let's just do a square knot and see what happens. Because with a square knot, I can always tuck a bow in here. And there is some wire in it. Um, I kind of like that. Okay, let me grab the little bunny wrap. Oh, oops, not one of them. I'm gonna grab the bunny ribbon and see, you know, do I want to do that for now? And then take it off after Easter. Now, so when Easter's over, I will look at a lot of my items and if it says Easter on it, I'm going to take it down. But if it doesn't, um, rabbits are spring, summer, you know, so I will probably leave a lot of it out until I totally go into summer. Here is the cute little, again, it's a burlap with the colors. So I'm going to just feed it through here. I need it to hang down, I think, because the flowers will cover it to the, for the most part up around the, the thick part, so. I'm gonna go ahead and tie this in a knot out here and then slide it in so that it doesn't slide down. Oh, 
this knot doesn't matter whether it's a square knot because it's going to be behind the other one. It's a stormy day here. A little chilly too. I'm still it's still sweater weather. Okay. I like this. Oh. Well, I don't know if you've been able to see what I did. There we go. What do I want to start with? I don't know. I'm going to, I think I'm going to start with these guys. And this is going to be noisy. Here, let me put you back a little bit. I don't even really know. <laughs> Am I going to poke holes in the paper? Yeah, I just did. The other one, I really didn't fluff out the pieces, so they're going to look a little different. But that one's probably going to have to be redone because it just has bags in it. And I don't think they're going to. Oh my. Once you fluff that out, wow. Look at that. How pretty. Woo! I'm going to fluff this one out a little bit more. Okay. Then I think I'm going to put the cones in next. Again, didn't do any fluffing on the other one, but they kind of need to be a little bit. one's a lot fuller. Okay. I'm going to put these little guys in on either side. Okay, since these are going to be hanging opposite each other, and this is really long. I have tools somewhere. They're packed. I haven't discovered them yet. They're probably in my creative craft office boxes, but I have a lot of office stuff. So for now, these are just getting folded. Um, but I'm going to make it so that one's hanging on one side on one and hanging on the other so that um, they mirror each other rather than be exactly the same. And what am I talking about? What, I'm going to have the long piece. Hanging on the opposite side. the other one that's probably a key to doing this correctly is being able to make two of them work together so but I'll do the best I can wow is that coming together pretty you guys I just love it let me get you more on the front of it here I really love it. Okay, what else do I have? So I'm not using that. I'm gonna use one of these greens and then I've got two more pieces. Okay, so this, I'm going in to the very back and I am, there's that handle on the back. So I'm kind of using that as a prop. I hold this piece up a little higher. How beautiful. 
All right, and then the last two pieces are these. And they go right in here. And a meeting in the middle, separating the um, pink cone hydrangeas from each other. I'm loving it. I'll take you down and let you, I'm going to show you both because side by side because the difference of having the paper in there for a nice face and spreading it is wow. All right, this is the one I just did. It's so full and pretty. I see that the this side over here is leaning out a little bit more than this side. So I am going to go in and correct that. But look at the difference. I mean, I, I could just say, hey, I just graduated because this looks terrible. <laughs> but again, I have really nothing in the base. So everything's just falling down and I did not spread anything out. And spreading out these flowers is key to making it not look like that and look like this. Okay, I am going to complete the other one and see how close I can come to making them look pretty. And maybe I'll go ahead and hang them on the door. Okay, friends. I am done. You know, my first bow is much prettier. I need to fold up the uh, ones on this one here because I didn't take as much time. It just was a little harder. I did the bow after. But, wow, what a difference retouching that up made. Um, they're not identical, but you know what? I don't mind that at all. And... I was a little disappointed with my taller green piece because the way it was working in there, it was getting a little off center, but I kind of like how it ba off balances the low hanging. And these are not gonna hang like this, they're gonna hang opposite so that the, the hanging part uh, is on the outside of the door. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on my door right now. Um, and then maybe my next video, um, weather permitting will be my front porch. And we'll just get that all dolled up for spring um, and Easter because I have Easter decor for my front porch. Well, there we have it, you guys. I think they look balanced. Uh, I can see one is lo hanging lower than the other, barely. I am gonna have to fix that. Um, not sure why. I, I mean, I know why, but okay.
you everybody. Today's video is a wrap and I hope it inspired you. If you have even an inkling of wanting to try a floral arrangement, you know, just kind of do it. Jump in. I was intimidated. I want to do that a lot and I just I'm so thrilled with my outcome. I think they're so pretty. So I just encourage you in that. And along those same lines, those baskets are at Ballard Design, ballardsdesign.com. And um, they are $99, which I know is a price. But if you're needing only one, perhaps that and one small item, if you use that link, will get you a $50 coupon that'll give it to you for a lot better price than I paid. Um, anyway, that link, I don't know how long it's good for, but uh, if you love to shop Ballard's or if you've never tried, take a peek. It's bedding, furniture, tableware, outdoor, it's everything. Um, and this quality is absolutely wonderful. It is more expensive than what you're going to pay at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Amazon. Um, but there are times when there's things that you're not going to find at those places and it's a really beautiful, unique thing. So check that out. If you're new here, I just hope that you'll subscribe and everyone, would you press that like button? I know that's one of the things that's probably helping us grow over here. And don't forget to comment. I love chatting with you. I will see you the next time at your home your happy place and don't forget if you're interested in um at little devotions i am posting them in the community tab every day and sometimes they get deleted by google and i try to put them in the comments if you can't find them there they're always at my blog your home your happy place.com see you next time bye mm -hmm.